Today, let's start with a quiz. The heart is responsible for sending blood to each organ in the body. Then in semiconductors, what functions like the heart? The answer is the Power Management IC, or PMIC. The PMIC manages the power requirements of the different parts of electronic devices, just as how the heart provides blood to our organs. PMICs are essential semiconductors for devices that require power, such as smartphones, smart watches, wireless earphones, and automotive. Let's take smartphones as an example. There is only one battery in a smartphone. However, the display panels, cameras, and mobile APs all operate at different voltage. Additionally, we want our smartphone battery to last as long as possible. That is the role of the power management IC. In a bright room, the screen becomes brighter, and in a dark room, it gets darker. You can check the remaining battery of your Bluetooth earphones through your smartphone. These functions are impossible without the PMIC. Every component in an electronic device has different power requirements. The PMIC converts the voltage from the battery and distributes it to various components. It's very similar to how the heart functions. When you run, your heart sends more blood to your leg muscles. When you study, the heart distributes more blood to your brain. The PMIC also converts, allocates, and controls power accordingly to each component. This means that the PMIC manages the battery more efficiently and helps the components to be optimized in any given circumstance. Then, how many PMICs are needed in a smartphone? Only one, because we only have one heart in our body? Nope. One heart is enough for a human body, but in this case, things are different. Smartphones in the early days had four to five PMICs, but the high-spec phones we use today need approximately 10. Automotives need way more PMICs. Multiple PMICs incorporated in one device support different parts and functions. There's a PMIC that manages the power of mobile APs, while there's one that manages the power of the display. There's also one for an image sensor, and one for the power of the memory. As mentioned in our last video, as there are CPU, GPU, NPU, modem, and more in the mobile AP, the PMIC for mobile APs becomes very important. The display is one of the most power-consuming parts of a smartphone. Even under the same brightness, the battery life can change, depending on how efficiently the power is used. This is related to the PMIC's performance. A PMIC that takes charge of battery charging is also very important. It contributed to the development of wireless charging technology that has reached the quality of wired charging. This PMIC allows the smartphone to quickly charge and calculate remaining battery while measuring the expected charging time as well. Now, many people connect their wireless earphones, smartwatches, and other devices with their phones. The battery management of these connected devices are also related to the PMIC. The PMIC accounts for the largest portion of all power semiconductors. Samsung Electronics first entered the PMIC business in 2010 and has been producing PMICs for smartphones, tablet PCs, PC game consoles, and wireless earphones. In addition, the company has recently unveiled a PMIC for DDR5 DRAM, where the new PMIC is equipped with a DRAM module. Because the PMIC and DRAM are located on the same module, it can provide a more reliable power supply to the DRAM, resulting in improving memory performance and minimizing errors. It is expected that the demand for PMICs will consistently increase, not only for the Internet of Things, but also for autonomous driving and electric vehicles. PMICs are vital. Do you want to learn more about semiconductors? If you're interested in our upcoming content, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you in our next video.